Today we're building the Turbo Loadout 2.0. We're gonna try to build the best inventory possible. So right now we have literally nothing equipped, absolutely nothing. And we're gonna be going through every single category and we're gonna pick pretty much the best skin for every weapon. By the way, guys, I'm collabing with the site and we're doing a Bayonet Tiger Tooth giveaway. So make sure to enter, the link will be in the description down below. But anyways, guys, First of all, the Glock is going to be such a hard decision because there's so many great Glock skins. Obviously, there's the brand new Glock Gamma Doppler Emerald, and this is probably one of my new favorite Glocks in the game. But there's also the Glock Fade, and I'm kind of split on either this or this. I mean, we could pretty much use anything else like Neo Noir, Bullet Queen, Vogue, Water Elemental. So honestly, I think the smart move is to put them on shuffle. And we're going to have the Glock Gamma Doppler as well as the Glock Fade, and that's it nothing else for the dual berettas my go-to for the last while has been the, the twin turbos just because they have the word turbo in them but honestly i kind of do like the duelist literally because they have the sapphire grips so i think for this one we're gonna go with the duelists for the p250 oh boy oh the whiteout would be nice like there's so many great options obviously like the see you later i use this for a while the bengal tiger looks pretty solid too um, but honestly, guys, honestly, I, you know what? I'm going to go with the Bengal Tiger because I haven't really used it that much. And I think it looks pretty sick for the tech nine slash CZ. Oh boy. Okay. So a lot of great options here, but personally, I'd rather use the tech nine just because well, tech nines are insanely good. And I think we're going to go back to basics with the decimator. It's neon pink and neon blue, just two insane colors. And for the Deagle, oh boy. Yeah, I'm kind of split between the, the Blaze, the Jormungandr, the Fennec Fox, and the Prince Dream. So for this one, we're also going to do Shuffle. So we'll use the Stat Track Prince Dream. We'll use the Fennec Fox. I really do like the Cobalt Disruption, so let's add that as well. Plus the Deagle Blaze and the Jormungandr. That way we can have our cake and eat it too. Do I want to bring out this bad boy right here? Eh, not necessarily. It's more of a, you know, just a fun collection skin. Wait, hold up. Is the mutter in here? Hold up. Let's remove the mutter. <laughs> if only you could shuffle both sides at the exact same time, right? All right, the 5.7 slash CZ. I actually do like the 5.7, so I think I'm going to stick with that. Like, I've never been a huge fan of the CZ just because, I mean, if you're not able to hit your shots, then it's kind of pointless. And with the 5.7, you can literally just spam it. Oh, and honestly, guys, you know what? I'm, I'm actually going to go with the blue gem that I've had for a really long time. And last but not least, of course, guys, we have the USPS. And obviously, we're not going to be using the, the P2000. All the real gamers, they use these bad boys right here. So genuinely, I've been a big fan of the Neo Noir and the Kill Confirmed over the years. But I think for this inventory, we're going to try out the Trader because we've never actually really used it before. And I want to go for some newer skins. All right, anyways, moving on to the SMGs. For the MP9, we're going to go with the Wild Lily just because personally, it's my favorite. And also, it's like, it's the flashiest MP9. For the MP7, oh boy. Oxide Oasis, I would rather use the MP7 than the MP5, 100%. And I guess for this one, we're going to go with a Souvenir MP7 Fade. This is just a Souvenir Fade that I got from the 2018 Face It London Major. For the UMP, my go-to has always been the Primal Saber, but I think this time we're going to go with the Crime Scene, just because it looks so nice. Like, look at those colors. By the way, back in the day, I realized that the Emerald Dragon literally looks like if a dragon was Rick from Rick and Morty, because look at the hair. It's literally the same color as Rick's hair. So this would be a funny skin, obviously, or the Death by Kitty. This is one of the oldest skins in the entire game, and it still looks really good today. I guess we're going to go with the Death by Kitty. I just, I really like it. For the PP Bazone, you guys know it. We're gonna go with the Judgment of Anubis. This has pretty much always been my favorite PP Bison in the entire game, just because, I mean, look at it. It looks sick. Like the artwork is really well made. It has a cool pattern. It has lots of colors to it. And I guess also it's the only covert PP Bison that I own. So why not, right? For the Mac-10, I'm a really big fan of Pearlescent skins. So we're gonna go with the Discotech, literally just because it changes colors depending on the angle that you're looking at it. Like. That's pretty cool. All right, moving on to the heavy. So for the Nova, we're going to use the Hyper Beast. For the XM, I have this old Katowice 2014 souvenir skin. So we're going to go with the blue spruce with the Team Dignitas foil, as well as the, the gold foil. For the Sawed Off, uh, honestly, you know what? Let's go with the Apocalypto, because I really do like the way that this skin looks. 
I used to prefer the Kraken, but I mean, the Apocalypto definitely looks a lot more appealing, especially, you know, considering the gloves I'm going to be picking. But anyways, for the M249, pretty much all my M249 skins look kind of ugly. So we're going to go with the OSPIR just because it's so clean. And then for the Negev, we're going to go with the Lionfish because it's literally the cleanest Negev in the entire game. And then the Mag7, I actually sold my old play skin. So I think for this one, we're going to go with the Justice. I mean, we could always go with the heat because like I've loved this skin for a long time because it looks so cool, but I've used it for way too long and I kind of want to try something new. So we're going to go with the Justice. I mean, the Monster Call would be a great option too, just because look at how flashy this skin is. But now we've made it to the rifles, the part you guys have all been waiting for. And honestly, I'm kind of considering the Prime Conspiracy, but the thing is, it's factory new and this thing is scuffed. It is so scratched up and I don't know why it looks that bad. So... I think instead I'd rather go for a cleaner skin like the commemoration which is literally just a full-on gold famas freaking love it dude this is going to be a tough decision as well we have to decide between the m4 or the m41s if we use the m44 I definitely want to use the howl mainly because it's stat track and it's the howl but personally I kind of prefer the m41s just because while well, it has the suppressor and you can spray through smokes and you can get a lot more you can get a lot more done the only problem is less ammo but i think for this one we're gonna go with the welcome to the jungle literally the best skin from the ancient collection for the ssg or, or the scout my go-to option has always been the stat track dragon fire and i think we're gonna keep it that way the blood in the water looks okay but nothing comes remotely close to the dragon fire straight up like this is the best scout in the entire game and hey if you disagree just let me know in the comments down below for the aug oh man it, this is a tough one, but guys, we're going to go with the Super Battle Scarred 0.9988 Akihabara Accept with a weird ass name tag for some reason. You know what? It's a Super Battle Scarred Akihabara Accept. Actually, I think it's the number two most Battle Scarred one in the world. And it has a couple weeb stickers that actually came on it originally. And I think these kind of add to the aesthetic a little bit. All right, but for the op, oh boy, this is going to be a very, very difficult choice because we could either, we could go for the Desert Hydra, we could go for the Gun Gear, we could throw on the Black Mob with the Dignitas sticker. There's, of course, the Lore Owl, the skin that I've used for so long. And I think for this one, guys, we're going to put them into Shuffle. We're going to shuffle them up. We're going to do the Dragon Lore, the Desert Hydra, the Gun Gear, and then we'll also do the Fade as well, just for fun. And you know what? Also the Asimov or the Black Mouth. For the Krieg, ooh. If we're looking at just like the flashiest skin, I mean, the Darkwing does look really cool and I'm a, I'm a big fan of it, but the Integral has been integral to my inventory for such a long time. You know what? We're going to mix it up and we're going to go with the Darkwing. But for the Scar 20, guys, we're going to go with the Emerald because it kind of fits the Emerald theme of the Glock that we get 50% of the time. And then for the Galil, oh, actually, no, also the G3SG1. I guess I got to go with the Flux because it's purple and it looks pretty cool. For the Galil, so back in the day, I used to really like the Sugar Rush, but since they released the Phoenix Blacklight, I've definitely preferred it more just because it's even more colorful and also it has a raven right here just chilling so i mean there's no reason not to go with it and last but not least guys the ak-47 and this is gonna be a tough choice because we could either use the wild lotus we could use the x-ray which i'm not a huge fan of but you know i'm glad i have it we could also throw in like a neon rider because this is a really sick skin as well and the gold aberesque or arabesque the newest skin in my collection and you guys know it. You guys know what I'm going to do. Because we can't just have one skin. We got to have them all. So we're going to go with the Neon Rider, the Gold Arabesque. You know, give me a Wild Lotus while we're at it. Let's go for a Vulcan. And I think that part is complete. And now, guys, we have the melee weapon or the, the knife. And I think we're going to go for a different setup on each side. For T side, we're going to go with the Karambit Sapphire. And then on CT side, I, I'm really split because I really do like the Fire and Ice Marble Fade. But I also do want to try to use the skeleton knife. So we're going to go for the skeleton and we're, we're going to put that on CT side. And then for the gloves, I guess it, it only makes sense that we use the Pandora's box for everything. Because, I mean, these other pairs of gloves are decent, but the problem is they're basically all field tested. And except for the, the duct tape gloves, but I'm not the biggest fan of those. It just makes sense to go for the Pandora's boxes because, I mean, these are basically the Rolls Royce of CSGO gloves. So that's it. 
The inventory is built. So what's next? To hop in game and flex these, flex pretty much the best inventory I've ever built. And honestly, I'm really happy with the current loadout. I really like it. All the skins are just my favorite skins personally. And honestly, I have you guys to thank because I wouldn't have been able to do it without all of your support. So a big, massive thank you to you guys. By the way, make sure to enter the Bayonet Tiger Tooth giveaway on Twitter. The link will be down below. And also, pretty soon, I'm going to be hosting an event where one of you guys is going to be walking home with a $500 knife. So, you know, I want to do what I can to give back to you guys because your support means the world to me. I want to keep doing YouTube in the future. So with that being said, guys, let's get it done. So like, comment, share, subscribe. And overall, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. It's Turbo, and I'm out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.